Hey, what's up, everybody? So, Kino Lorber has done it again. I feel like we, you could say that about every 4K release that they've done, because I feel like they just don't put out a bad 4K release. But of course, we're talking about the Manchurian Candidate right here. So, Frank Sinatra, Janet Lee, we have Lawrence Harvey, and of course, Angela Lansbury. I really forgot she was in this, and I don't know how I did, because she has a really big role. But of course, came out in 1962, it did have a remake, I believe, in 2004, somewhere around the early 2000s, uh, with Denzel Washington. If you haven't seen that, it's not bad. It, of course, doesn't hold up to this because this is a fantastic movie. It's it's a crazy political thriller. If you haven't seen this already, definitely watch it. Of course, it's in black and white, so that might kind of throw people off. And, you know, I don't like black and white. I just want my color TV and all that jazz. But... Black and white is where it's at. Because of course, this is a 4K scan of the camera negative. So this looks, I mean, phenomenal. The Blu-ray from Criterion definitely looks really good. Don't get me wrong. This is a little step up from that Blu-ray, of course. You know, the, the blacks are a little bit darker, so there's more contrast. You know, you get those really rich, dark blacks that kind of give you it almost makes the scene around the blacks pop a little bit more. Uh, there's more clarity in this 4K as well. Again, the Blu-ray is pretty solid, but this definitely gives you an extra boost in you know picture quality. The film grain is still there, don't get me wrong, but of course, a movie from 1962 filmed on film is going to have film grain. Just makes sense, right? So it's not, you know, crazy over the top it's still there but that basically just makes the picture quality overall better you don't have any of that scrubbing and getting rid of that film grain it just makes it look really weird and and just creepy overall and like i said hdr really does wonders for this dolby vision really kind of helps boost that picture quality and the the clarity again like i said so if if you don't own this movie this is the option that you're going to want to pick up the Criterion Blu-ray is a good option. If you own that, are you gonna need an upgrade? Maybe not as much. Maybe you know if you're if you love this movie and you want to see this movie as you know the best it looks, yes, you're gonna want to pick this up. But if you have the Blu-ray and you're you know you're just a fan of the movie, you might not want to upgrade. It might not be worth it for you. If you don't own the movie at all, then yes, this is definitely the way to go. This is where you're going to want to go. You want to pick this up. I think Best Buy has it for like $27.99, but you can either price match or get it on Amazon, I believe for $19.99. I think that prices may vary from when this video comes out, but at least that's what I got it for. It was $19.99. They price matched it, got it in a couple of days. So a little bit about the story before we get into the audio. Basically, it's a platoon of GIs that are over in the Korean War. They get captured and then they basically get brainwashed. Uh, you know, they see a certain thing uh, that's not really processing correctly in their brain. They're, you know, getting them to do different things. Some people are turned into killers. Some people kind of are just kind of brainwashed and scrubbed. They don't do a whole bunch. And it's really like Frank Sinatra and, you know, the, the whole cast almost coming together and kind of piecing together, like, what happened what's going to happen you know kind of pu you know piecing everything together it's all, it's all looped around political and you know races and all that jazz so it's a nice really solid thriller that kind of keeps you on your toes throughout the entire process of the movie i don't really think there's a slow you know i mean this movie is about two hours long and it really doesn't feel like two hours long whatsoever you know i just watched this last night and it just you just scene after scene after scene it's just the acting's fantastic the script is fantastic the director i mean everything about this movie is just good if you haven't seen it already definitely go watch it so of course for audio this movie does come with two different tracks it has a dts hd master audio 2.0 and also 5.1 so which one's better i really think personally that the 2.0 master audio is fine for this movie I mean, I know, I think Criterion, don't quote me if I'm wrong, I don't have it back here. I believe the Criterion actually came out with just the Mono 2.0 that originally came out with the film way back in the day. Uh, but, like I said, the Master Audio 
it really does it justice. I don't think it needs to be stepped up to a 5.1. You know, if you have a 5.1 and you have all the speakers and all that jazz, go ahead, try it. But I tried it and, you know, just, uh, you know, I don't have anything crazy. I always say this. I don't have the huge setup. I basically just have a sound bar and a subwoofer. But with that being said, I really think the 2.0 everything comes out clear you can hear everybody you can hear the background you can hear all of, you know the gunshots and all of the extra stuff it comes out very clear you don't have to worry about you know leaning closer in or turning it up and then having the action scenes really loud because the you know the voices and everything like that is just super low or muffled i think 2.0 is really where it's at and the reason i bring up the dialogue being overwhelmed or you know kind of seeming like everything around it is a lot louder is because when i did try the 5.1 it really seems like that's how it you know how it went down so you know when they're in korea or if there's gunshots or you know when you're in the the kind of the senate house and everybody's yelling back and forth when he's doing like a meeting and somebody's confronting him and there's a lot of background noise i feel like that 5.1 definitely like pushes all of that background noise forward towards you and it almost kind of muffles or like just you can't really hear a lot what they're saying and it's kind of hard to understand so really you have to turn it up more but then you know the movie just gets oh, overall too loud because of course you have a lot of the background noise. That's the reason why it comes with two. You know, 2.0, that's all I need. That I mean, you can hear the clarity, the dialogue comes in great. You know, the action scenes are the, you know, the atmospheric sounds that are coming around aren't overwhelming or overpowering. But you know, if you have 5.1, you have all those speakers, get crazy with it, you know? That's why it has two on here so you can choose which one you like better. I prefer the 2.0. But, you know, 5.1, you get crazy with it. As far as special features, I, there's not a lot. There are some, and they are entertaining for the most part. There's some interviews and stuff like that. Uh, I'll post this up here, and there we go. That zoomed in pretty well, kind of focused on it. But there's, like, like you can see, there's not a lot. They are good, and they're enjoyable to watch, especially, I just like, you know, knowing more information about old school movies seeing how they're filmed, how they're done. So it's just like small stuff like that I enjoy. But it just seems like that's one area where Kino Lorber is kind of lacking in, unfortunately. Because the 4K picture quality, fantastic. The audio, I'm enjoying it. So overall, Kino, thank you for doing what you're doing because you're saving old movies like this that some might not have seen. But either way, are you going to pick up The Mediterranean Candidate on 4K from Kino? You know, do you have the Criterion Collection? I don't know why I pointed it back here. I don't have it. That makes no sense. It's not going to be on that shelf. Why point at it? But either way, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do all that fun stuff. Double check. There's a video. Maybe I'll post it here or here. But there's a video on a giveaway that's coming for 500 subscribers or 500 followers on TikTok. So you can join either or. Uh, basically, I'll have stipulations later, all that jazz down the line once we get to that milestone. Either way, let me know what you guys thought of the movie, the 4K, the audio, the special features, everything. Down in the comment section below, and we will see you guys in another video.